Hi, this is Amal from SSL Trust's official YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you how to install an SSL certificate on your application or your website in Forge. So, let's get started. So, we have set up the default application on Forge and I have not yet installed my project and but as you can see the site is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is so the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a certificate sign-in request or a csr now for that we're going to scroll to the bottom on the ssl trust homepage and navigate to csr and key generator on the tools and services or alternatively you can just type on Google SSL Trust CSR Generator and arrive at this page. So basically, a CSR or a certificate sign in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details, which are stored in hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate now that you know what a csr is just fill in your details real quick type in your domain name without the www the name of your organization the organization unit such as it your city or town your state or province, choose your country, type in your email address, and then root length we're going to go with 24 bit, which is the industry standard, and then click on generate CSR. And here you'll see your private key and your certificate signing request both right here. Now it is recommended that you save both of these files as a text file on your computer so as to be able to do multiple configurations in case there is a hiccup in the process but since this is a demo video i'm not going to save these files and keep this window open the next step in this process is to purchase and configure our ssl certificate okay so now i'm here on the ssl trust homepage, and if you scroll down you'll see that ssl trust has established meaningful partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities. And you'll see that we offer SSL certificates for just about all of your SSL needs, whether you want to secure a single domain name or a small website, whether you want to show higher security on authenticity, or you want enterprise level validation with extended validation, and the green address bar in support browsers. When you want to secure unlimited subdomains with the wildcard SSL and multi domain SSL certificate to help you secure multiple domain names under one SSL certificate. Now, if you're not sure which SSL certificate is the best for you and your business, please contact our sales team at SSL Trust and we'll be happy to help you out. Since this is a demo video, I'm going to click, I'm going to go with a standard SSL certificate. Let's go with the Commodore Positive SSL. Choose your duration. Click on Buy Now. Click on Check Out. Fill in your details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment. And then click on Complete Order. Once you do that, we can come back to the SSL Trust dashboard and then click your product or service to get started with the configuration. Or alternatively, you can provide this URL to the person doing the configuration for you, but we're going to do it ourselves. Now, what you're going to need to do is head over to your text file or a window in this case and copy your certificate sign and request or your csr from the very start to the very end including all the dashes 
and then paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And if these details look good, then we're good to go. Server type, choose either Apache or Nginx since Forge has provisions for both, depending on what server you're using. Click on next step. Fill in your details real quick. Type in your, type in your email address. If you have a technical individual doing this for you, please enter their details here. Otherwise, use admin contact. Okay, so now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. Now you can do it on one of three methods, namely the email method, in which you are going to need to have one of these five email addresses on which you will be sent an email which should contain a link which when you click on should validate the ownership of your domain name and you should have your certificate issued the second method is the http file method now in this method you are going to need to create these directories if they're not already there and these subdirectories too and in that subdirectory you're going to need to create a text file with this exact name and in that text file you're going to need to paste in these contents and then click on check file to see whether your server is displaying this information the third or the method that we're going to use is the cname record validation method now you're going to need to access your dns management settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider depending on where you've pointed your name servers to. So I'm logged into my DNS settings. I'm going to add a new record. Type is going to be CNAME. Copy the CNAME record value. And paste it in the host box. Do the same for the CNAME value or the point to value. Copy. Paste and then click on save. And then come back to the configuration window and click on check DNS record. Click on search. And as you can see, this process of DNS propagation should take you from a few minutes up to an hour, depending on your service propagation speed. So just hit refresh and stay active on this page to check your DNS. Now, in the meanwhile, And as you can see, our configuration was success. This is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. Now you are gonna ask, click on this drop down menu, select your method of validation, and then click on submit or recheck just to refresh things on Sectigo's end. Just keep alternating between these two and you should have your certificate in a few minutes. Now, if you're not able to find the X validation manager, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard, select your product that you've purchased, and then click on Access Validation Manager. Okay, so we're done with the domain control validation and our certificate has been issued. Our DNS record has propagated in enough places for us to be recognized by Sectiga. Now, I'm gonna click on Collect Certificate. And here you have your certificate. Now that we have our SSL certificates, it is now time to install them on our website, which we are hosting via Forge. So I'm gonna head over to the Forge dashboard. And now we are gonna to navigate to sites and then select your website that you're hosting. Then navigate to SSL in the left menu and then click on install existing. So now we are gonna head over to our private key in your text file or this window in this case, copy it from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes and then paste it right here. Now for the certificate part, what we're gonna do is head back to the certificate collection dashboard and then copy your main certificate to a clipboard 
and then paste it right here. After that, you're going to click enter and then copy the intermediate certificate with report and then paste it right here just after the main SSL certificate. So it will be a chain of total of three, two SSL certificates. And you'll see the begin certificate three times. One, two, three. So we have both of our certificates forming a chain in the certificate dialog box. It is recommended that you install your intermediate certificate too, so that your website does not display security warnings to users if they're visiting your site. Now I'm going to click on install certificate. And as you can see, the status is being displayed, installing. So I'm going to wait a bit. So once your certificate is added, we're going to click on activate. And now that our certificate is active, let's check the installation. So open your preferred browser and navigate to https colon double slash your domain name dot com. And voila, as you can see, our connection to the site is now secure. We have successfully installed an SSL certificate on your website in Forge. So I hope you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on your website in Forge by watching this video. Now, if not, there is a written guide available in the very description of this video, which you can refer to for more clarity on the process. Now, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And if you're into all things SSL, do consider subscribing to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.